What's it feel like to go through this experience so far? Uh, I haven't really decided, man. I haven't, I haven't really decided on a feeling. I think that's like the worst thing I could do right now, you know? Uh, what I'm thinking in my head is it's just business as usual. I'm just here in Halifax uh, doing the same thing I always do, defending, defending the city like, uh, like I've done for the past few fights and just kind of keeping that as the, uh, as the mindset and just going from there. Again, I don't think there's a, there's a preparation process and just kind of go with it and um, let it be what it is. And people are going to be loud and stuff, but that doesn't make the difference in the fight. So the, the bottom line is there's a fight at the end. No matter how loud they are, that doesn't make the difference in the win or the loss. So I'm just going to, again, do what I do. Afterwards, I can take that in. Right now, it's the focus is, uh, is, is finishing this fight. Yeah, I think it's, it's been a while coming, but... Um, uh, right now I'm ready. It's better to be overdue than uh, than to be kind of shocked by it all. I've gone through this in my mind so many times and, and how this night's going to go. I'm appreciative, of course, that it's here in Halifax because this is the city that I live in. It kind of adopted me. I'm originally from Newfoundland and I was just talking to Brian Stan about all this and telling him, you know, there's almost as many people here in this press right now as there is in my hometown. You know, this is a very, very small town. And when people say small town, like, I'm from a real small town, you know what I mean, where, where people are behind me in, in such a way that it's like, you know, I can throw a rock and, and my neighbors uh, uh, at the furthest point from the town can, can see it, you know what I mean? So it's, uh, it's interesting to see, like, everyone in the city get behind me. I feel like the city's kind of adopted me, and the, there's a lot of pressure, but, but pressure is good. You know, I, I think at a certain point, <clears throat> I set the goal to be here, so I have to accept the responsibility of my goals. Yeah, it's really exciting. I mean, he's this is his 12th fight, and you know, he's got a dozen fights. So he's uh, he's coming in here with experience, you know what I mean? And, and it's my first fight, you know, right out of the right out of the Newfoundland fog, right on the main card. But in, in my head, that's what I want. I want tough fights, and uh, and I have a tough fight. So we're gonna we're gonna get it going. Yeah, I mean, as far as technical things, it's throws from the hip. You know, people say there's a lot of power, a lot of punch and power. Is there next week? You can probably hear me, but it is what it is. There's a lot of uh, power, but anyone who's heavy on the back foot and shifting away to the front and throwing from the hip is gonna have power. This is not. This is not power this is this is this is fastballs you know what I mean so for me I know what it is and I definitely respect what it could be but I'm not afraid to go in against that you know like I said uh, I'm fighting every day with the gym from Thailand to Henzo Graces in New York to Tristar this, the caliber that I've seen is not going to shock me uh, any more than the lights are going to shock me or the, or the noise or whatever people are are bringing up as some kind of thing I don't I don't think that's real the bottom line is it's a fight and that's it